Hi there. This is another experiment I've been doing. This is a piece of clear boarding tube going through this box here. And it does have to be pretty clear. I don't know if you can see that. I do do a video about this tubing. Pretty good. I think it has a little bit more friction than normal tubing. But otherwise than that it's pretty good because you can see the colour of the filament going through great if you've got like more than one colour in your printer, 3D printer. But I've got this BC Vichy, whatever it is, 99 up here. I've got an ATX here to supply the voltage, 5 volts. I'm going to turn this on so we get a bit of noise, fan noise, etc, etc. And we can see that this goes up to 5 volts. Basically, I'm um, inputting. I've got some black filament here. You can see. I don't want to move it too much because it's quite de delicate, the balance actually. One of the problems with this at the moment. But you can see that that's gone. Pull it out, or pass the thing. So that's just like a filament run out sensor. Takes a bit for the voltage to jump up on this thing. Now you might say, okay, black, yep. You might expect it with black because that's pretty dark because it is a light sort of system. And this a little bit straight if I can so this is like almost like a wire blue and this is also pretty dark so that's out so if the filament runs out or gets broken and one advantage with this there's no break in the boarding tube there's no like this is one complete section of boarding tube here all right it's only you know, short distance. Oh, by the way, I put this ruler here to try and indicate the size of this box. It's not like small 10 centimeters that way. 30 square, nearly enough. We could say it's 30 square the other way. Now, this is only like hacked together pretty quick as a prototype. Say 5 volts. Basically no volts, so that can obviously you can reverse the like tripping voltage, you know, in Marlin or Mams, whatever it is you want to call it. Yep, it's detecting that. So when it's broken, it's signaling five volts. So when it's ran out of filament, it's signaling five. Now I've got this. This is actually this filament here that I've printed this in. It's uh, glow in the dark. That's right pretty light colour and that's gone basically as good as to zero volts there back to five volts when it comes out and gets broken or runs out the filament so the filaments get say the filaments coming from it doesn't matter which direction really but to say the filaments coming from that direction printing 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 but it's ran out there no more filament Signals 5 volts, tells vamps to pause the print and gives you a chance to feed, well, put more filament in. Now as I say this in here, just me tapping on it like that, I just tapped on it there, might be enough to knock it out. I'm going to have to possibly do some tweaking to make it easier to get this adjusted. That's just a, a brief, what about transparent uh, filament you might say, well I haven't a clue to be honest with you because I don't have any. So that's pretty, that's a pretty light colour there. Well, I think it's the lightest colour I've got anyway. And I can you know, take it out, it's 5 volts, 
push it almost all, well all the way through. It's down. That's okay. So when it's on as good as zero, that's only nine. Well, call it ten milli millivolts there. Went down, and it jumps up to five volts. So that, yep, needs a bit of tweaking. I think I want to see if I can. Or it does probably need to be this big. Actually, well, I mean, I have thought of other ways of doing it, but if I make it like shorter, it has to be taller and such like. So, you know, and doing it that way is also problematic. To show you a couple more times, five volts, zero volts, as good as five volts. Zero volts as good as five volts. Zero volts as good as I don't know if you can see it, but there is a very faint glow. Well, you can make see it here, especially if you go like this. Oh, there's a let me put a bigger light on this. Just a second to see if that impacts it. Right, well, I was trying to show you, you might see the glow of the lights coming out here. You might even see, see through the box a little bit. Well, this colour, anyway, just a bit of like reddish there. But, right, so we on 0 volts there because we've got the filament in. Let's just do that like a test, make sure it's still 5 volts. Zero volts. Right, I'll put this light on it. I'm pretty close, about two feet away. Still zero volts. Five volts. Zero volts. Just a second, I think my bulb is playing up here. It seems to be flickering. Five volts. Yeah, so that's even with this, this is glow glow in the dark here yeah. it's not impacting this bright light and it's pretty bright this light I've got well a, a, about this ruler length away 300 milli millimeters whatever it is it's just here yeah so that doesn't seem to be impacting it I can't really show you in the apps Let's see if we can do it in the dark. You might actually see, well, yeah. We can't see the display now. Right, I'm testing it in the dark. I'm trying to keep as much light off it as I can. I've just got a torch shining on this display. I'm going to put the, well, the filament's in at the moment, take it out. Yep, put it back in. Take it out, put back in, take it out. Yeah, so that seems to work all right, even in, in like low light or bright light as well, which I was worried about. Okay, so needs a bit more refining to make it easier to set this, like get this, I've had to. Get this just balanced just right to get working. 